Hello guys, um, Demetrius Demetri Success Trader here, and um, it's belong, yeah, it's belong. So um, today I want to teach or let me say um, lecture about something very important that you need to know, and uh, this is something that has been taught in the mentorship, but I decide to um, bring it out to public, so you should um, acquire the knowledge. On, on it so first thing first is that uh, disclaimer first and this is not uh, I will I'm not the one that invented something like this all right and we do know that everything that we we teach we learn from our previous teachers all right and we give the knowledge out to our student and our student becomes teacher to another student so the knowledge passes on now um, this right here is kind of like an ICT concept and I just uh, modified it and uh, like, you know, trying to make it more easy for each and every one of us to understand a lot. So because I tend to realize that most traders find ICT concept very complicated and hard to understand. So I'm just gonna push it to you and break, down, break it down for you the way that I trade it and the way that I analyze in the market and can easily predict where the price is trying to run to and I uh, those they have been with me on Facebook page and um, joined in on the uh, free community group that I uploaded on Facebook page we had a session on this and I just feel like I should give you guys more details on it because like I said uh, I said the algorithm is always the same thing is applicable on stock is the same program written because the algorithm is a program of zeros and ones so they are all the same program running on the market it doesn't change all right it remains that way and so since the system is that way it's applicable on stock market crypto market currency market and it's surprising that you can also use that on your synthetic indices on derived broker so Continue, uh, without further ado, I would like to start with the um, teaching and the introduction of it. Now, it's called an open float, and I also kind of like call it the algorithm dealing range, all right? So, um, without wasting time, it's just uh, the algorithm dealing range can be understood as an area of key, key point levels. Uh, these key point levels are areas where we have having buy stops and sell stops, and uh, those on the mentorship, I know you also watch this and uh, you can also get to grab some further information I might say here that I didn't say on on the group all right so also those I had the free session with also so uh, I'll be back I'll be back uh, okay so I'm back and uh, so um, these are the areas we have in buy stuff and sisters and you know, like I've explained to you guys previously, that every highs that we're having are key areas of stops resting on that high, and they tend to be protected. It is now has a buy stops, and vice versa for every swing low that we're having, no has a sell stops. They are stops that are protected. Now, um, this goes in confluence with um, the overall trend from higher time frame. Now, this is something I get to realize after I get to study um, the algorithm, the range, or the open float. Now this is where I mean I meant by um, what's it called? Adding your own confidence and confirmation, or you kind of like modify the the knowledge and the understanding. You can like implement a lot of things inside what you have learned from from other people, from mentors, for teachers, and uh, friends also because your friends can be your teacher also. So. Um, now this goes in confluence with overall trend. When I was studying this, I get to realize that it goes in confluence with the overall trend most times. And the deal range is an area where the stores of hedge funds, or you can call the huge funds, those trading with large funds, you know, the central banks and uh, the hedge funds. These are where they're having stops resting on those highs and lows. So these are buy stops, and the algorithm with tends to run to uh, collect the orders resting on that high and grabbing the quality, hunting uh, liquidity of uh, stops of um, the hedge funds that has a protected stops on the high or probably also on the sell stops 
So the algorithm is being drawn to those levels and uh, to hunt them. And you know, uh, we data traders uh, only on the market to provide enough liquidity in, for in the market. So uh, you define that I say I trade small money concept or I lend small money concept does not mean that I am in charge of the con of the market or I trade with hedge funds. I am also a retail trader. I only study the concept of smart money, so I'm still I'm I'm a retail trader, all right, and um, because I don't trade with hedge funds. So those that trade hedge funds, those are the ones that move the market and the algorithm understanding that their uh, pool of liquidity rests in every highs and every lows, uh, stops rests in every highs and every lows. The algorithm is being programmed to go to collect those orders or stops resting on those highs and also on those lows. So these are things you should understand about the algorithm. It creates liquidity. It hunts for that liquidity that you created, grabbing every liquidity uh, resting on those areas. Are areas where we have liquidity pool, sell side liquidity pool, pass side liquidity pool, um, buy stocks, and the area sell stocks. And also the algorithm creates imbalance and also runs to balance that imbalance. They that inefficiency, so it's called like CB or BC or an area where we have in the favor value gap. So these are the two things you should understand about algorithm, liquidity, and imbalances. So um, drawn to the levels to either go for buy stop or sell stop first to hunt them before um, being drawn to the next area of stops. So right here, um, now the DD key range, the DD range key levels are buy stops resting on the last bearish shift. So we have buy stop above short term high. So we have short term highs right here. And uh, we have buy stop previous day high, previous week high, uh, previous month high, the highest high in previous three months highs and the current the highest high in the current six month high or also the buy stop resting above current six, 12 month high and vice versa for set stops set stops below short term low right here uh, set stop under the last bearish and uh, blue shift so we have uh protected sell stops for the purpose of it to run to grab liquidity on the daily range resting on the buy stops so the same time i explained on the buy stops, it's same as uh, sell stops. So previous day low, previous week low, previous month low, lowest low previous three months, and six months, and then 12 months low. Stops resting on those lows. Now, after marking all these key levels, then you try to find where the algorithm is drawn to. After you have understand and see what the algorithm is drawn to, you can easily predict what next is go is, is trying to go to. They look for your setup for entry, which are areas of other blocks, such like uh, circle support resistance. Now, this is also what I mean by me modifying it in order for me to have a confidence confirmation because I am not the type of person that just learn and just go like that. I learn and I try to figure out some lot of things and try to find something that I could make it look easier for me to execute my trades. And, uh, these are, you know, why I trade. So these are the things that I use as a confidence for me to uh, enter the market and target that area in which the algorithm is being drawn to. If I did not get to find my setup, then I will just watch the price um, um, follow my prediction before it happens. So you saw me um, predict gold, where gold is to run to, one is 50.00 level. And this is what I used to predict where gold was to run to. So, uh, find your areas, your setup right here, other blocks, same as for resistance, Beverly Gap, KML, fail highs and lows, or lows, areas of stop hunt, and all with a structural break and liquidity assessment for confidence and extra confirmation. So, now you can see the drawings right here, and you can see this blue marking here, the case that it ran to hunt the buy stops, and after taking out the liquid, this buy stops, it's really lower to take sell stops right here. So you can get to find that on your candlesticks right here. So I normally trade on the monthly candlesticks, all right? So I have already done a session with you guys and uh, I uh, talked about it and how I told you guys where gold is to run to. So um, for the sake of um, YouTube, so I will go back to it and show you guys right here. So. If you go to my Facebook page, you will see where I say we are running to the 1850 level and that is it right here. So how do I get to know this? I was using my daily range. So I was on the monthly time frame because I trade on, I love trading on previous month highs and lows. So we are going to go to another broker to leave this one right here for future reference. So 
right here we notice that the market on gold is bullish there is no bearish signal on gold so like i always say that it goes alongside with the overall trend from your higher time frame so i always advise you guys all the time that you should always start your analysis from a higher time frame to know your buyers right so right here we know that the market was ranging right here on gold on uh, this area right here after it traded higher to take out this long-term high right here now we did uh, we are not having a bearish signal yet but a ranging market right here and we notice that it traded lower to grab liquidity resting on this low taking out the sell liquidity pool so where do you think is uh, likely to be drawn to next we have an area so we have in relative highs right and this is the current market where we are right now and what do you notice in this current market we notice that the market is ranging right here so now this is my dealing range all right this is my algorithm dealing range now what do i notice right here i was trading in previous month highs and lows so um right here this is february high and i'm going to show you guys the same thing on synthetic indices to show you to tell you guys that um it doesn't is applicable on every part of the market because the hedge funds are always on the higher time frame because they like and um, they love long term return of investment and not short term all right so they are long term traders or long term investors and not waiting for short term stuff like that so right here i first of all marked out my future smooth high and right here we have february high so we have um buy stock rest in february high right here and then the next thing was also mark my february low so right here i have a uh, february low so we have a uh, sales stops right now february low right here now first and first i noticed that the market first of all was bullish and we entered on january right here and we had a january high right here so the market closed on january it opened on february and we have that hunt right here hunting January high right here so we know that this is not a brick of structure but a a hunt um previous month high right now after it took out buy stops where next do you think it should be drawn to it should be drawn to sell stops on January low and right here January did not have a low but we have the opening candle right here so it traded below the candle of January and you can actually say that we had a hunt um on January low so now this is our since we are hunted we have hot and both side and the first side was buy, buy side buy stops before it traded lower to take out um, side stops now we open the match right here March traded lower did not go for February low so it's likewise to say that February low is now protected so that means it is now drawn to February high right here and after taking february high then our next target will be areas where we're having relative highs right here or you could say we're having equal highs so that means we are having tons of liquidity resting on that high so that will be known as a bar side liquidity pool right we have bar side uh, liquidity pool and due to the fact that russia and china is trying to accumulate gold for other in order for them to make the dollar um what less in a way so i think that would be used as an extra confidence to why gold has been strong in a bullish momentum right so now after seeing this uh i notice my bias i get to know my bias and where it's likely to be drawn to so i run down to my weekly time frame and i get to mark my weekly highs and lows and right here i found my previous week high now what do i notice their previous week high did uh this next this next this week current week which was last week so last two weeks were here and let us just say previous week so previous week low was haunted right by the next week right now this right here is not a um breaker structure it is a hunt on liquidity and it is a hunt on previous week low right now what that was how i know and predict to you guys that gold will run to the 1850 level and that was what we have right here just like that because i noticed that we have hunted uh previous week low 
So that means uh, set stop is taken out and its next draw in the delay range should be um, buy stops. All right. So we have a hunt on previous week low. Its next draw should be um, previous week high. And then for the long term, we'll be targeting this February high right here, which is our previous month high. All right. And you know, there is no bearish momentum in this market because it is a range market, the overall range market and sales are liquidity will be taken out. So that means it is not protected and its next target should be buy a liquidity pool. So this is a long term dealing range. All right. The long term dealing range, this high and this low, and you can get to mark 50% of that and you know the price has traded into 50% and the putback has a retracement and then I'll be targeting that February high and a long term high right there. So um, now seeing that we run out to our daily time frame and we'll get to see how I was easy, uh, how I easily predict where the market is to run to and uh, right here you can see how clear, clean and clear it is of gold right here on the daily time frame. And also you can see it right here on four hour. So most people are like, how do I get to know? This is how I get to know where price is drawn to. And most of you guys did not believe because you think that market is bearish on gold. So that is by the way. And you can see how it rally upwards, taking that liquidity right there. So where do you think is going to be drawn to? February high, right? So you can see the January high that was hunted right here. So the liquidity has been taken out from January high first, the dealing range, and also we you can notice that we took out a short term low right here. We hunted a short term low. So we traded lower, giving us a new low right here. And you can see that hunt right here. When March opened, it hunted for while you low. So now we are having a new dealing range, this high and this low. And you can see how trading higher to be drawn to this buy stop right now, this high. And then we're targeting our long term high on the uh, monthly time frame of our long term delivery range. So, right here, this high, short term low taking out. First was the high on January, short term low taking out. We traded lower. So, we traded lower. We gave us February. March opened, February took out um, January low, right? So March opened and we trade high. Now the same thing I talked about on um, um, S&P. So I predicted S&P 500 last year. So I'm going to show you guys the proof of that. And um, so I'm going to show you guys the proof of that. So I we go to um, downloads and I search for ES. So we have ES and uh, we have this. So right here, you can see the date on which I put it at S&P 500 is the date. Uh, yes, January 13th. All right, it was this year and it was the first month of January. That was where I predicted S&P 500. So we have this high and how I showed this draws liquidity. So um, let, me, uh, show, let me show you guys um, another one. So we also have this one right here, All right? And this is um, January 21. You can see how it went to that one I told you guys about and we have a draws liquidity. So right here. So you can see how it's befalling my bias right there on the daily time frame and this is January 28 and we hit our we had our target right here and we'll draw the liquidity right here. Right here, this high, and also this high. Now that was on the January 10, 28 also. So I'm going to now we can see we hunted the first high, the draws liquidity, and the next target is this high, this high, and this high. Now, how do I get to know that? So let me show you guys on the chat right here. So we are now on S&P 500 and right here you can see that it's noisy, you can't find anything on your <coughs> 4 hour time frame. So it's always advisable for you to be on your higher time frame. 
so now where are we running to we run to our monthly time frame and we zoom out to know our overall bias now looking at s and p 500 is there any bearish signal on es 500 no we have been overall bullish on s p 500 there is no sign of a bearish market right here so you should not get confused of the market trend or the bias now we should look on the daily range right here because right here we can notice that the market is ranging right here so that is our daily range and our long term daily range is um, this high and uh, sorry about that we have this high and then we have this low now what do you notice that the market did here he protected this low because the overall trend is bullish and right here we are now ranging on s p 500 so the same thing we did this is february high so we have um february high right here and uh February high took out January and December high. So it took out previous two months high, right? And also this high right here. So that was one, two, three, four, five, five months high. But that is by the way, we are not looking at our current highs and lows. Now we notice that February traded lower and did not go for January low. And now you get to notice that every low is now protected, every sell stops protected. So that is telling you the overall bias is that you should go bullish and sell stops are protected for you to get to this high right here. And you notice me predict that on January. So now what do you notice when March opened? March opened and we have a hunt on sell stop on previous month low. So now when you see this, where do you think the price will be drawn to next? since you know that it has taken out uh sales stops so remember i tell you guys small money concept is take liquidity and be drawn to liquidity so take liquidity and be drawn to the liquidity take sales stops and be drawn to buy stops so you now see the deal range right here on previous month highs and lows previous month lows taking out is next draw should be previous high previous month high so we go to weekly time frame and right here you can see that previous week low, low was taken out so his next drawn is where february high we have says uh, buy stop on this high we have buy stop on this high and we now have an extra uh area where we have buy stops right see on this high So um, we uh, indicate that right here. All right. So that should be our long term high. And right here, you can also see that the shift right here. So the last berry shift is right here and it's protected. Now, let's go back to where price was when I share the analysis with you guys right here on the daily time frame right here on the daily time frame All right so now uh let's go to the daily time frame and we see when price was where i predicted the market right here so you can see price was here and i predicted the market for most of you guys that know that they're following me uh i really get this high so where did the price go to uh this high right and that is the four one seven five zero zero level and that's what we have here four one seven five zero zero level right here now you see how we hunted a high we traded lower february low was taken out and also previous week uh low so it's the extra confluence so it should be drawn to previous week high right so you can uh, see that right here that we have previous week high so it should be drawn to that previous week high and then long term high which is the february high 
so it should also go with date because it tends to happen at the end of March and then the beginning of uh, March, April and it's either it just hunts and trades lower or it breaks structure and it possibly trade higher to withdraw to these highs all right so we have our previous week we have our previous um, previous week high so is an old high a short term high right there so uh, now I will take this one high and uh, February low so sorry about that I will call that previous week low now so we have previous week low so now if you're watching this and I would like you to come back and comment later to see and tell me exactly if price did go to my direction previous week high and then February high that is the only thing I would love you guys to do for me so we are uh, to watch price long term target and know where we are drawn to and we are having buy stops and the long term daily range recently is uh, this high and this low so price trade above 50 percent and this drill is the premium pricing right so i will set this and i'll take this off right here so we can see that right here 50 percent right it came to 50 percent broke 50 percent trade into the other block that is inside below 50 percent and use that as a uh, trampoline to push higher previous week low taken out and I think it trade into this area of other block also right here on the daily time frame so if we run down to daily time frame so you are having an extra confidence right here so we have this other block right here that it traded into so you have a long term deal range right here because you can notice that it took out a uh, previous deal range to get this high first and it traded lower to take out this low next so now since these two sides taken out it has to reverse to take out these buy stops uh, <coughs> resting on this high so now we move to synthetic and we explain the same stuff so you guys know about crash 300 and we are going to explain the jury range right here so without wasting much time we first of all notice this first uh high and this first low of the daily range right here so you can see the price rally upwards and it took out uh these buy stops right still right here on this high let's see right here on this high and after taking buy stops we see trade lower to take out the sell stop that was previously protected for the purpose of it to go and take out <coughs> buy stops so we have uh sorry so are we love it that has so stops so now it rallied backwards and we have this low protected and we see trade higher to hunt uh, buy stops again right now this is our new daily range again now since this high is taken out then it has to it has created a new daily range high and it needs to create a new daily range low so you see trade lower and took out this daily range low right here so its next target is now this new range so it has to trade higher to take out this range high to create a new range high and we have to see trade lower to create a new range low so now we go down to the four hour and you can possibly see how every set stop is protected for the purpose of it to go and hunt the high right here right so they are now liquidity pool resting right here it trade backwards take out liquidity pool take out the sales stops and we now have a trade higher we have a bearish shift right here and it put backwards to trade to this other block right here and February gap trade higher right here trade backwards to imbalance on the four hour and also used uh, these previous buy stops has an as a support to push higher trade backwards 
play backwards again to this other block right here and when I see it hits the buy stops haunted that high grab liquidity and now what did you notice it really lower gave us a low right and now it now had a bearish shift right here so we now have it trade higher and gave us a fair high so it now gave us a shift so has it gave us a shift then that means that we have now we are now having a protected stop on the buy stop so it's the last bearish shift on buy stops so we have a fair high and when you see a fair high you can see that after the fair high we now had a break of structure so you can see those of you saying that tomorrow money concept is not what on senior taking this is you are seeing me trading it on senior taking this is so it's a proof that the algorithm is always the same does not change it is the same program written all right so we have a break of structure and after the break of structure we have it put back and i think it should be a mitigation block so it used this low has resistance to pull higher and uh it now traded backwards to here also and after that you now have the same model it traded lower to and continue selling so we can also see it trades like into the February gap and it trade trading lower so now what is it doing it's taking out this previous sell stop that it left behind has liquidity to target this sell stop to create a new daily range of low and it can also decide to just rally downwards breaking structure like right now without hunting this low just go lower and since the overall market is bearish right so um i hope that this makes sense and i want you to go to your chat study and drop your comments on youtube follow me on facebook and yeah don't forget that i have <coughs> a um, mentorship uh, group on telegram like is where i upload every teaching that i teach on mentorship just like this particular one is taught on um, my mentorship but then i decide to bring it out in public to give you guys an, a further explanation to it so um so um I'd like to show you guys something right here So hold on, I'm trying to take off the restriction on it. So um right here. Alright, so right here. I'm tr right here we have the videos uploaded on the telegram internship. So right here, I have a market structure and I broke down everything about the market structure that most teachers or are likely say tutor or mentor won't teach and um, you get confused on your market structure. So you can see it right here. We have the internal and external structure and where we will mark your major highs and lows, the major swing high and the major swing low right there. Then we have uh, junior character. The first thing was in, an introduction to market structure. The second one was the internal external structure. The junior character, we had a uh, stop hunt. We had the field highs and lows. We have the market structure summary. And then we had the retail and liquidity concepts and areas liquidity. Now, this is the first thing I showed them on how you can easily predict the algorithm. So this one is on the mentorship, not exposed on uh, YouTube. So right here we can this is where we used it right here to predict vix 50s and right here we have interaction to other block right here and we have a schematic right here so um change your character another block two other block three and then we have this one to easily make them understand ICT concept on favorite gap and cb and bc they will now have introduction to kml course module where i used to trade and i explain to them exactly what they need to know on on it so um go back to that so i will drop a link if you're interested you can sign up to that and you enroll to it now this is not the end of it all right because i 
one thing to know also about the financial markets and crypto and the stock market and educate them on money the banks the federal reserve and a lot of things they need to know about the financial market because trading is not only candlestick and patterns you need to know a lot about the economy and the financial markets at large so that is it for you here just some videos uploaded and there's still more coming because i'm trying to build like an academy where we have a lifetime students people come here and we also have a classroom where i give assignment and if you pass you get a certificate so um so that is it now also to give the last lesson on this so i want to show you guys pmb that I posted for you guys recently and right here we can see that is hitting almost close to take profit right here so now how did i get to know that bnb is to go to that low look at this perfect swinging and you can see 700 dollars and we're already having on 529 dollars now how this paper trading so how do i get to know that the market is to get to this area and then lie downwards to be drawn to this low and also this low now it's the same concept like I always said, when you see your bias, when you know your daily range, you now look for your setup. And this is the area where I found my setup and executed the trade. So um, the same thing done, you go to your monthly time frame. You know the overall bias is bearish. Right here. So we go to another broker because I don't like taking off my stuff on uh, what is it called? Trade, uh, trading view. So right here, the same thing. We know that uh, it shifted to bearish market right here because we had a felt high right here. And sorry for the dog making noise. And we have a structure shift right here. And then we also have a, a hunt right here. So price put backwards to an area of supply. So it ejected from that area. So we, know, we didn't know that also we have area of BC right here that we have imbalance price needs to go and balance that area on BNB. So right here we have a range market, right? So this is now our daily range. Now I marked out January highs and lows. So I noticed that February took out January high right here. So we have a uh, January high giving us, giving here. So January gave us, uh, February gave us a high taking out uh, January low and truly low up I felt to be drawn to January low, right? Now March opened and it traded higher now we see it going lower now that shows us that this February high is protected and you can see that price is close to February low so you should know that that is the drill to liquidity and we'll likely get to see it be drilled to January low and also uh, the lowest low in previous three months so we have this um, December right here so you guys on Facebook also know how I show you guys at this area on December the Bitcoin will rally to this level right here so that is how I also get to know where it has to run to and I'll show you guys right here at this uh, point no where was that place on the daily time frame I put it at BTC all right so I think you are at this area and when I get to see rally higher to All right, so when I get the really higher to this high right here, so I think it was here, yeah, it was here. Now we get the really higher to this point, and now we now notice the February high is protected right here, and these are the things I posted on Facebook recently on my Facebook page, so I don't always post on YouTube. So now we now see how the market is trading lower, and you can see after January high was taken out, it put back gave us a failed high, and it traded into an other block. So that shows you that um, February is protected. So now I have to look for my setup and four hour time frame. Just get to rush this. So we notice that this is the other block on the four hour it traded into. I don't trade this type of stuff because it's not my setup. So you can notice that we have a structural break right here and the violation of those that will say this is an other block and you have demand for them to buy from. So price uh, trade tabs, trade lower and reversed and traded into this other block traded lower and i was looking for an area where i'm having imbalance and then also my setup printed at that area now i noticed this area right here and i saw this other block but i'm not willing to execute this other block 
until I get to see my setup and confirmation entry. So that was when I was on my one hour and I saw my clean setup right here and which is area of significant support and resistance that is in line with my other block. So it gave me the confidence to trade that and I have a change of character right here. I have a break of structure right here. I have an extra major break of structure right here. So that gave me the confidence to execute other area and then we have the quality zone, liquidity assessment, efficacy zone. So tap, rally and draw to liquidity right here. So back to Binance, you can see that right here. And you can see the sniper right here, right then west and drawn to my area of take profit. So I'm tired guys. I hope that you understand this and I hope it makes sense to you. So um, I want you guys to go to your chat, study them and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share your thoughts with me because I like um, us communicating together. So to then, see you guys next time and I hope you find this very educative. Bye.